right there, mister. Don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. You're big, and I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. This is Little Lamplight. We live here, and we don't need no mungos messing it up. So just take a hike. I'm McCready. I run Little Lamplight because they made me the mayor, and I don't like strangers or mungos. Why would I tell you anything? God, you're dumb. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. Yeah, I do. But it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. Hell no! No Mungo's allowed! Why should I trust you? I got no reason to. You Mungo's are nothing but trouble. I ain't gonna let what happened to Sammy and Squirrel happen to anyone else. Them and Penny got themselves caught by Mungo's, just like you. Slavers from Paradise Falls. I told them to watch out, but the stupid kids didn't listen. You do that? Maybe. If you can bring them back, I might let you in. I already told you no. Stop asking. Oh yeah? You must like having such a good looking butt. <laughs> You're pretty funny for a mungo. Why don't you come on in? Happy birthday, Sticky. Sorry I missed your party. Yeah. Look, I don't just let any son of a bitch into my town. I'm taking a risk making an exception for you. So you're welcome in my town. At least until you start screwing up. Once that bullshit starts, you're out on your own again. Just give it a shot, Mongo. You'll see plenty of my adult-sized stones when I'm pissing on your grave. Organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy. And I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all stay here forever, so we've all got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here. And the occasional ruthless little bastard like me makes sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. Of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. People change when they grow up, and we don't trust mungos living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. At least that's the line Joseph teaches. But really, we simply don't have enough space or food for everyone to stay here forever. So, I've got to exile some to avoid ruining the whole town. It's a fucking hard, brutal choice to make, but that's the way we stay alive. About time. What do I look like, your tour guide? You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. 
the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Okay, don't worry. I won't tell anyone else you chickened out. That's right, and don't come back! Me too. Sorry. There's nothing happy about it. This is the worst day of my life. It's time to go. You know the rules. The rules are stupid. You're a Mungo now. You gotta leave. So, you impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. I don't know. I haven't really noticed. Oh, come on. You've got skills. I'm sure you know talent when you see it. Yeah, I suppose so. so there you go. That wasn't too hard to admit, was it? I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was ten and never looked back. I always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, why take chances, right? Besides, I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the Capital Wasteland. I'm sure your parents were thrilled about your hobby. Never knew my parents. Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. We kind of had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, you packed up and left. I know, it sounds crazy, but... Having adults around was something we couldn't trust. How could a bunch of kids survive without help? Everyone pulled their own weight. Just like a colony you'd find anywhere. We all had our designated jobs and we washed each other's backs. Can you believe I was actually the mayor for a while? Me. Crazy, I know. That sounds ridiculous. Maybe, but I kept the colony alive for a couple hundred years. Anyway. When I hit 16, I ended up wandering the Capital Wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I hitched a ride with a caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. I made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but... I don't know. I guess it started to catch up with me. So I quit, which pretty much brings us to now. So there you have it, my whole life in a nutshell. Wow, that's an interesting story. Interesting or not, I felt like you deserved to know who you were traveling with. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass. I mean, I know I tend to be arrogant and I come off like I want to be alone. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. Being alone scares the heck out of me. And now that we've been traveling together for a while, I'm beginning to realize how much I missed having someone I could depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. Well, that's all I had to say. Hope you got something out of all that. I know I did. <laughs>